If there's one thing I've learned about DJs and producers over the years, it's that they enjoy having engaging conversations. My name is Stefan Alex Vasquez, filmmaker, podcaster, and one half of the DJ duo, Fight Club. Let's travel the globe and really get to know your favorite artist. You are now watching Sometimes I drink coffee and it knocks me out. It's interesting. Uh, okay, maybe because you don't have enough fluids in your body. You think so? I drink a lot of water. Then you, drink, then you need to drink a lot of water. I do. All right. They say recommended you should drink two liters of water per day, right? Yeah, you should do. You I mean, should, that's what they say. I don't you know. You should actually do three or four. What? But then I'll be pissing the whole night. I'm pissing the whole day. <laughs> I've been two. I've been two times to the restroom in the restaurant. Me, me too. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. So that means we're on the right track. If you piss a lot, you're healthy. That's very true. You're not even from here, right? Not from this city, no. Well, where are you from exactly? From Eiselstein. How do you say that? Eiselstein. Mm. I can't really, that doesn't really roll off the, uh, my American tongue. You do, know? You know, do you know Utrecht? I usually say Utrecht. It's, it's Utrecht. 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 Okay. Um, it's like 10 minutes from it. It's like okay. the suburbs from Utrecht. Okay. But now I live in Harlem. Not, not the, it's a, well, like the Harlem in New York is based on Harlem in Holland. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where I live now, for three, four years. With a double A. With a double A? Yeah. It's like 15 minutes from here, it's not that far. And everything in the Netherlands is like relatively close to each other. From what I've seen, like it's... Yeah, it is. 30 minutes at most, unless you're like in the north or like the south, like deep south. Yeah, but not a lot of people live there. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Like all the, all the work, all the, all the companies are in, in a very small area in Holland. Yeah. But the thing True. is, like most people in America look at Holland. Some some people even think that Holland. They don't even say Holland. They say Amsterdam. They just assume that the Netherlands is Amsterdam. They say, "Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Amsterdam's a beautiful country." And now that I'm familiar with it, I say, "No, that Amsterdam is just a city in the Netherlands. It's like it's like a misconception." Yeah, or they think the Holland States. is a city in Amsterdam. Like yeah. Amsterdam is the country, <laughs> and Holland is a city in Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. They, they're like, uh, I'm from Holland. And they're like, oh yeah, that's in Amsterdam, right? Yeah. It's like the other way around. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, it's, it's funny trying to tell an American that, but it's also kind of vice versa too, because when you come here and you tell people, oh yeah, man, I'm from New York. And they're like, oh yeah, 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 New York City. That, yeah, that's the state. And it's like, no, 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 that's the city within the state. Well, people know about huh? states. And that's already something, man. That's true. <laughs> you the actually, concept of states. You actually mentioned earlier the this. I think you said the the capital of what state was it? I think Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. I said Phoenix. Yeah. No, I said Tucson, and you said Phoenix. Yeah. Like we like actually knows the capital. I know my shit, of the man. state in my own country. <laughs> I know more about about the USA than you, man. Apparently. But what's good, man? What have you been doing during quarantine? What, what's, what, what are you, are you working Man, on production? Breeding a lot, working on music. Seeing a lot of my friends actually. Being at birthday parties again, that kind of stuff, man. So let's just let people know in the States, like you guys are actually, you can have a birthday party and not get yelled at by other people, right? Like what do it's you mean? pretty common to like actually have small gatherings in yeah the we, have, right? we have small gatherings yeah um, so things are pretty like much back to normal from what I'm seeing for the most it's part. not it's not really you know it's just people kind of got adapted to do the new idea of, of how things are but we we do have like uh, we are allowed to have small gatherings yeah I think up to 30 people and then when you have a large venue to uh, up to 100 people but in houses, uh, if you have a house or something, it's like, uh, if you can guarantee there's like a one and a half meter distance between people, um, then it's like, uh, yeah, then, you, then you're then you allowed to do that. 
But has there ever been like a situation that you know of where like the cops have come into a small gathering and enforced that rule? No. Not right? No, I've never been in that situation. Because I've seen like restaurants here. Yeah. They say it's like 30% uh, capacity or something. Okay. But I never see the police coming in the restaurant and saying like, all right, you know, you're over 30. Like who is actually going into these places and like enforcing that rule is what I'm saying. I don't really see that here. Just curious. No, um, it's not. I haven't seen it in my own eyes. There's sometimes there are some news items, of course, you know, about police enforcing uh, and stopping some kind of event or whatever. But I never seen it. No. Yeah. I've seen a lot of events though. But it's like night and day, man. Like compared to what's happening in the states, there's just so much. Like it's so much, so much more tranquil here. People here are more at ease and okay, but it is a smaller country. Like it's unfair to say like yeah, you can't compare. Yeah, them, and we and we also didn't got hit that bad as USA, you know. Yeah, we had a small period of when it when the hospitals hospitals got a little bit overflowed, um, but now it's just I don't know. much more chill. Much more chill and this well, lady's chill over here and she's on our bike. <laughs> Huge shout out to the king of the jungle, Wewek. I hope you guys enjoyed our awkward conversation. <laughs> Wewek's been a good friend for quite some time. And thank you, brother, for inspiring us to, you know, make the sound that we make even today. Well, without further ado, let's get this thing started, shall we? Go, go, go.
from the trouble. How you guys feeling? Taking you to the jungle right now. Hey, hey, here come the trouble.
How you guys feeling? It's about to get a little wacky right now. I'm in the
switch. Whoa. I straight up feel like I'm in a jungle right now, seriously. Any moment now, like a tiger or a lion's gonna like pull up. How you guys feeling? Come on. Thank you. 
time for my people at home. Come on! Times ahead. Me, me not have dirty bad mind round me. <laughs> Just show me when me need things be done. Me do them. When people brains me up, me use them. When people want advice, me clue them. When people get uptight, me slow them. Just your party, Mrs. Mr. Lady. Only one man can call me baby. See when they think it's fit to play me. The one that ate is what's a maybe. So me tell them. Girl, I wouldn't take this far. Girl, cause we are run them chat. Girl, we never take my chat. We not respect that. We in charge. What we tell them. Girl, I wouldn't take this far. Girl,
Soon you are born, strapped on the handle Develop and up, you the fright to everywhere Listen to boy, mushroom is a mushroom in the port Get the high, what's the secret key? Stell it a tip to life Wake it, jam and you, I'm gonna be a witch Wake it, jam and you, I'm gonna be a witch Wake it, jam and you, I'm gonna be a witch Wake it, jam and you, I'm gonna be a witch to get weirder.
one, two, one, come on. this one
while I'm looking on a somewhere else. I wear these dark shades so I can see them while I'm looking on a somewhere else. Cause I know they are mine and I know they are hearts on the evil plan. Know this time on the face of the earth while we walk amongst the evil man. Everywhere I go, see them watching me, yeah. Again, love you, WeWick. Thank you so much, brother, for being a part of this episode of Off the Decks. And remember, guys, big ups to Insomniac TV. Thank you guys so much. I'm Fight Club. You guys, be safe out there. Stay healthy. Much love. <laughs>